hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to apply default filter by or the group by using the context and in case you missed previous discussion about how to implement the default value using the context please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the playlist you can see odoo development playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow so let's back to our main topic like how you can apply default filter or the group by option in the list view so for example in the student profile let's say if i will go to here you can see here uh, sorry so let's say here is a country i want to group by right while default let's say if i will click to this student profile and it will automatically apply here this group by or let's say let's say this fees right it should be like uh, greater than 100 those field uh, those students i want to see like who having a more than 100 student fees right so when i click to this menu right the student profile it will automatically apply this filter by or this group by like this so how you can apply this one right so first thing is we have to go to in the windows action so here let me go to here in this views so first thing is i will try to find out the search view right so this is our search view here you can see and now i will try to add here some filters like filter string and let's say total fees more than 100 sorry this is the name then after the string let's say this is the filter name and here i will try to apply here a small domain let's say total fees so let me verify total underscore fees right so here like this is the correct one let me add here like greater than and 100 let me also close this one and here i will try to also apply that same uh, group by option uh, let's say country name group by country and simple i will pass here the context right and context is the compulsory here so group by and here we have to paste here that specific field name so country underscore id right so how do you know like this field is exist or not so simple we are going to here and we will simple check here this so you can see uh, this is the student profile right and now you can see here the roll number name student image state student sequence school underscore id hobby list virtual school this is boolean one currency fees right reference active b date and student aid so country is not available so for that we have to check if in case we inherit any model so yeah we already inherited this model right as an address so if you see here this address we already updated so inherited right sorry for that so all these five fields available to here also so we can use this country so here you can see this is only a simple country right and i will try to add here country that's it and after that we have to restart the service plus upgrade the module so for that like i will try to upgrade from the terminal pycharm terminal and in case you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm and uh, start automatic service like this way please check editor level playlist i already explained everything so now if i will try to refresh the screen 
you can see here this domain is applied right so let's say if I will try to edit the fees so you can see the fees is not available here so let me add directly from here and let me try to refresh the screen so you can see here let me add here 100 all right so you can see we have some uh, validation message minimum it should be 101 amount allowed right so let's say if i will try to change this one like let's say 90 and i will try to upgrade this module now you can see it's so a 100 now you can see total 13 record is available and if i will click select this filter you can see now the record is 12 records found right and same like you can see here the country if i choose the country you can see here undefined undefined means it's a blank right so for that i will go to here again and i will try to add here that specific instead of here let me try to add in the view part so it's better for us so yeah this is the field name so here field name equal to total underscore fees and simple I will try to add here like field name equal to country and again I will try to upgrade this module here and once I will refresh the screen you can see here two fields automatically display the first one is this total fees and country so you can see the country is not available here right so I will add here India then after let's say this student USA USA let's say I will try to add here UA and then if I will try to apply the group by you can see here the one is the USA one is from UAE another is the India right and rest you can see undefined nine uh, sorry USA is two uh, students found in a UAE one record and in India one record and the rest you can see the nine records right so total 13 records available right 9 11 12 and 13 if you apply this one you can see it will reduce 8 to 9 uh, sorry 9 to 8 right because we applied also the filter by option so let's say now I will try to click to this student profile in the list view so by default it will apply this country as a group by how is it possible right so simple we are going to here in the search view the search view right and simple I will choose this name so whatsoever name is there we have to copy in the windows action you can see this is the windows action right and simple we in our previous session we already discussed about this default underscore what is the purpose right in case you don't know please check that part uh, that session and here we will try to apply another thing is search underscore default underscore if you remember in our first session of the what is con uh, introduction about the context we already discussed about this keyword right so this is the default keyword we have to apply and after that we have to paste here that specific search uh, filter or the group by name and then after we have to like just apply as a one all right and then we have to upgrade this module now i will try to go to here and refresh the screen now you can see 
if I will click to here and I will switch to list view you can see the by default country group by option is selected so this is done by this search underscore default underscore keyword right and let's say if you want to also add by default also this filter right these two filters that is also possible so here again you have to go to like this then after search default and here we have to provide that specific filter name so in this case we have to copy this filter name remember the name key whatsoever the name attribute is there whatsoever we define here it should be always unique for the search if it is not unique then uh, what is the last filter or the group by is it will effect uh, it will automatically get that one so remember always like name should be always unique like the search so the record id right same as the record id you have to always provide here the unique name otherwise it won't be work as per expected right and here i'm just adding as a one now i will try to upgrade this module module upgrade is necessary because you are changing in the xml side after that i will try to refresh the screen and you can see the filter by option is available here all right and uh, for more information let's say if i will go to the school again i will go to the student profile right this is also by default filtered in this pivot view the by default country then after the total fees and if you switch to the list view you can see also so i hope you understood about search underscore default underscore keyword in the context if you have any doubt related this session please comment below and see you in our next session